Today we're out for a day session on a local club water to me. Now that we're well into winter, I do tend to turn my attentions more to fishing shorter day sessions. Don't get me wrong, I do respect anyone that does continue fishing the big open big pits and tricky waters throughout the, throughout the year. Uh, but for me, I do like getting bites. It's what I go fishing for, the enjoyment of catching fish. So coming somewhere like here for a short day session means I get to fish different venues to where I would normally fish throughout the rest of the year. I can carry minimal kit, maximize the most of my time on a short day session, give me the chance of catching some carp throughout the colder months. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of an insight into how I approach my day sessions and how I maximize my time on the bank on these shorter day sessions. One thing that's massively important to me throughout all my fishing is preparation, no matter the time of the year. But especially in the winter, you've got minimal time on the bank. This venue in particular is days only as well, so I've only got a short period of time where I can actually be on the bank fishing. Uh, so preparation at home, I'll prepare all my rigs, all my bait, and do absolutely everything that I can off the bank. So that allows me to keep rods in the water for the absolute maximum amount of time. The last thing I want to be doing is missing activity where I'm not looking at the water, where I'm tying a rig up, or I catch a fish, and I want to maximise the short feeding spells that you can get through the winter, and I haven't got another rig tied up ready to go out. So preparation is a massive thing for me. Um, preparation also leads on to organisation. Certainly for the day sessions, I like to carry absolute minimal kit. I've ditched the barrow today, stripped all my kit out for all the essentials. Obviously, I don't need a bivy or a bed chair. I've got minimal amounts of food just to keep me going through the day. I've got everything stored nicely in the Infinity System Ruckle. That goes on my back. Fishing a small venue as well, so I've got the EXT crosscast rods with me. They go away in the EXT hold all. I can sling all the, all the gear on my back, make my way around the venue. That also allows me to move as well, should I see signs around the venue get on my toes and move around to that area. On the short day sessions, I haven't got the time to wait for fish to come to me. So if I'm seeing activity elsewhere, I'm gonna move on to them. And carrying on from acting on signs of fish, I like to fish for liners this time of year. Conditions depending, but I'll fit, choose to fish with an indicator that grips the line nice and tight and fish with a semi-slack line. And that allows me to get really good indication from line bites from any fish that could be moving through the swim. If I am getting those, I'll recast regularly. As well as that, any sort of signs of bubbling or fish showing, I'll immediately have a little bag tied up ready to go so I can wind a rod in and recast quickly onto that fish so again maximise the chance of catching one. Well after casting the rods around a couple of the likely looking areas wasn't much happening but I uh, did see a couple of little swirls under a little snaggy area on the sort of on a little point. Um, took a chance that it might be carp, made a little cast over there with a few free offerings and 20 minutes, half hour later, tips wrapped round and uh, got one on. Hey. There we go. Quick bite after casting at some subtle signs up against some snags. Wasn't 100% sure it was carp, but uh, even the subtlest signs this time of year can lead to a capture just like this one. Lovely little scaly one. Uh, rods are already straight back out on the same spot, so uh, hopefully where there's one, there'll be a couple more. Moving on, I'm actually casting the fish. Bait choice is quite a big thing that a lot of people seem to get really confused on this time of year for some reason. Uh, I myself have just confidence in what I use all year round. The only thing that I might change is I'm just putting less bait in. Uh, on the short day sessions, high attraction is the main thing. I haven't got time for the fish to be coming in, clearing up lots of bait with the off chance they're going to pick my hook bait up. So a lot of the time I'll be fishing with bright pop-ups, bits of fake corn, that sort of thing. And depending on the silver fish in the venue that you're fishing, naturals like maggots can be devastating this time of year. When the silver fish start to be less active and the carp aren't looking to feed too heavily, they're very easy digestible and pass through the fish really quickly. And maggots will often be the thing that gets you the bite when nothing else will. Well, got that rod straight back out after that first fish. It's paid off because not long after putting that one back, 
got another one on. Simple tactics, just a little pop-up rig. Cast over towards some snags. A few free boys over the top. Probably 15, 20 baits max. Uh, put a little bit of foam, little, little foam nugget on the hook just for the, uh, the cast, just to make sure the pop-up lays nicely. Because under the snags, a little bit of debris, especially this time of year, all the leaves are falling off the trees. And uh, yeah, seems to be working well so far. A little bit smaller than the last one, but uh, he still put up a great account of himself and uh, can't complain getting a few bites on a cold winter's day. Uh, that spot up against the snag seems to be producing quite regularly, so hopefully there'll be a few more today, maybe even a slightly bigger one. And one other thing that's really important to me through the colder months is your comfort. You want to keep your morale high and your motivation to stay out and carry on fishing. There's nothing worse than getting freezing cold or soaking wet and it ruins your day or even worse, you end up making yourself ill. Uh, so I'll always carry enough clothing to keep me warm and dry for the session, keep an eye on the weather, see what it's going to be like on that particular day. Today we've actually got quite lucky and it's nice and mild so I'm just sat here in a jumper to be honest, I'm pretty comfortable. I've also brought a chair with me today as well. Yes, it is one extra thing to carry but it means I'm sat comfortable. I'm not hunched over on a bucket or my own hooking mat. It means I can sit comfortably and watch the water looking out for any signs of fish. So I hope that's given a little insight into how I approach my day sessions, giving me the best chance of catching carp on the shorter trips this time of year.